मेल एंड फीमेल टाइडम आ he tied them tail to tail two 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 so he made 150 pairs then he put fire between the tails and he told them to go for the fields of the palestinians and they went and they set fire to the palestinian groves and olive groves and and wheat and all that these foxes poor thing when you tie them you look fox Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girlfriend Nungu. And we are Fun and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction, but before we get into the reaction guys, I want to thank everybody who've been subscribing to our channel. You're the real MVP. Uh, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers in 2 days, and then we're going to get there soon enough. So right about now, <coughs> a lot of people suggested that we should go react to extremely funny fairy tales in the Bible by Ahmed the Dat. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Welcome Incognito Islamic Productions. Then we read incredulous, incredulous fairy tales by God. Incredulous in the book of God. I'm reading from the book of Judges, chapter 15, verse 15 and 16. He found a fresh jawbone of a donkey. Who Samson? The same Samson. You know, who went to Gaza. He's exploited. Now he finds a fresh jawbone of a donkey. You know this jawbone of a donkey. Reached out his hand and took it, and he killed one thousand Palestinians with it, with the jawbone of a donkey. I'm asking, Shorosh, this one Jew boy, he killed one thousand of you people. Damn it all! Why didn't you run away, man? Why? You? And with the jawbone of a donkey, how did he do it? One thousand. What they were lined up. Even if they were lined up, and where do you hit the guy? One, two, three, four. Can you imagine killing one thousand people with the jawbone of a donkey? And then he sings a song. Listen to his song. Then Samson said, he sang, with the jawbone of a donkey, heaps upon heaps, with the jawbone of a donkey, I have slain a thousand men. I said, look, in Greek fairy tales you don't find this. Huh? You believe that? It was a film goer there one time. So. This Samson fellow, now he goes, Judges, Book of Judges, chapter fifteen, verses four and five. He says, "Then Samson went and caught three hundred foxes. You know, it's a fox. You can't catch three hundred tame dogs. You know that. <laughs> If you try to catch a chicken, chicken in the chicken run, you know, one chicken. This guy Samson, he went and caught three hundred foxes. Listen now." Hmm. And what he did with them, and he turned them tail to tail, took two tails, you know, maybe male and female. He tied them up, male and female, tied them up. He tied them tail to tail, two, 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 two. So he made 150 pairs. Then he put fire between the tails, and he told them to go for the fields of the Palestinians, and they went, and they set fire to the Palestinian groves and olive groves and and wheat and all that. These foxes. Poor thing, when you tie them, you look fox, fox. You know what's a fox? Wild things, man. You know you can't even train dogs to do that. You know you tie their tails; they want to run one either way. But here he tied them up two, 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 two. He made 150 pairs, and then he put fire, 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 and he told them where to go, and they went. <laughs> I said, you know, the Greek gods couldn't do anything like that. Then I say, you Palestinians, very valuable people. You know your foreskin, foreskin. You know we do khatna. You know khatna, circumcision. Circum, cision. Circum means right round, and cision means to cut. You know the skin. Now, it's very worth. It's a valuable thing for dowry. You want to get married? You want to marry a king's daughter? For dowry, those skins. If I had time, I'll tell you a joke about the Jew. You know how he was catching fish with it. But we don't have the time. <laughs> One Samuel, Book of Samuel, chapter 18, verse 27. He says, "Therefore David arose and went he and his men and killed two hundred men of the Palestinians. These Palestinians are there. They're just ready to be killed. <laughs> That's their destiny. Allah, as if He's got destiny for them. You just get killed by the Jews. Hmm? Now he goes and kills two hundred Palestinians, and David brought the foreskins." The skin in the front, he brought, and they gave them in full count: one, two, three, four. He counted out his dowry: two hundred. 
to marry the king's daughter, Mishal. He married Mishal. Two hundred, one, two, like one pound, two, one round, two round, three round. He gave her this in full count. Exactly two hundred, not one ninety nine. Two hundred. We are paid out in full. I said, you Palestinians, man, what is God got stored in for you? What has He got for you? Ah, hmm? uh -huh. you know God Almighty, He hates them so much. These Palestinians, according to the book, according to this Jewish book, the Bible. He tells them, he says, look, telling the Jews, you kill the Palestinians, men, women and children. Nothing that breeds must live. Even ox and camel and sheep and goat and donkey. Even donkeys are not to be spared. I said, what has the poor donkey done? Look, imagine, God Almighty, He hates the Palestinians so much that even the Palestinian donkey must not be spared. <laughs> but now God is more merciful. On this occasion, this one occasion, in the book of Numbers, chapter 31, God says, now, you must only save for yourself virgins of the Palestinians. You see, little children, kill them. Suckling, kill them. Because you've got no time to rear them. You have a boy or a girl, kill them, little children. Male, female, kill them. Because you save a girl, man, you're going to start by the time she's 14. You know, amount of food and shelter and protection you give her. A waste of time, destroy them, kill them all. But when they are ready, 14, 15, 16, yes. Now those, also you must be on guard, that they must be virgins. Yes, which no man had known sexually. Soldiers in the field are given instructions. Look, when you see a Palestinian girl, you must verify that she is a virgin. The only way is to rape and ravage her. Ravish her. There's no other way. For a soldier, how is he going to find out whether the woman is a young girl is a virgin or not? And if they found she is not a virgin, chop off her head. Not virgin, chop off her head. And they saved for themselves that... 2,000 women which no man had known when they were the first to rape and ravish. How many? 32,000. How many they murdered? It doesn't say. 32,000. God giving such instructions. Hmm? Can you imagine any nation on earth giving such instructions to the soldiers that when you meet, you know, of your enemy nation, when you meet young women, verify. Rape and ravish them. That's the only way you can verify. And once you verify that, then mm, this was too easy, it's a chopped off of the head. <laughs> but you know, God Almighty, He also wants His share. God wants His share now out of that, the raped and ravished women of the Palestinians. He loves them so much. So it says here, and 30 and 2 was for the Lord. I'm asking, what does the Lord do with raped and ravished women? <laughs> huh? What does God do with them? You tell me. Little wonder, Allah says, So woe to them who write the book with their own hands. Then says, This is from Allah. That they may reap from it some small reward, some small benefit. And woe to them for what their hands do write. And woe to them for what they earn. Wow. <clears throat> what do you think? Uh, um, the, 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 um, some of the things in the Bible, uh, I mean, there are stories in there. As you read them, you think like, is this even true? Did this even happen? You get it. You, you, I mean, to your conclusion, you think maybe they are fairy tales or maybe they are. But what I'll say is that. Uh, the most important thing is look at the message. What the message is being passed in there. Uh, it might be a fairy tale, but maybe there is some sort of a message in there. But uh, as 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 um, as Ahmed Dad went forward, he talked about um, like uh, to verify the virgins, and then if you're not a virgin, you're being killed. I don't believe the God of of, of like like our god is a god of uh, what do you call this um, killings and he wants to to see people in, in in anguish and stuff like that i don't believe that but i don't know why the bible um 
I don't say teaches, but there's some there's some text in there that says like like God ordered the kings or ordered David or ordered uh, people to go and kill uh, you know kill and whatnot. You get it? I mean it's it's all sad to to read such kind of things. I don't know if that's that's how God acts, but I don't believe. For me, I believe like God is a uh, is a uh, is a God of mercy. Mercy is a God of just pure pure what pure heart you get it no killings no nothing no shed of blood and anything like that but uh, sometimes god is whatever you just quote him mm -hmm. but the thing is you're always critical of things you know you're critical of passages mm -hmm. so what would you learn from this god ordered that the non virgins be what killed mm -hmm. and the other ones the so other ones they married so uh, no, but, then, but have you seen the way that test is not Yeah, but you only find out someone is a virgin is by raping. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so not. What message do you get from that, or what message would you want someone to get from that? No, like no. It's it's bad even to think about it because why would you want to rape somebody to confirm whether she's a virgin or something? No, come on. There are different ways of doing that, but again. Who, who gives orders to go and you know there's some things you just look into it you're like well, were these things even real were they were they even there or it's just a fairy tale or something like the title says you get it and i'm confused did you refer to the bible as a jewish book yeah is it a jewish book yeah you say it's a jewish i really but yeah i think i think it's a jewish book you think so i don't probably need to go into more research but oh, that's that, that's that. And when is it that in the Bible they like <laughs> killing Palestinians? Oh my God, no. It's like Palestinians are ready to be killed. Anyway, I mean, these stories, some of them are maybe there are some fairy tale. Uh, sorry, some some but stories in the Bible just do you to think make the you. The Bible should have fairy tale. I don't think so. If it's the look, if it's the truth, if if if, if it's the life, the truth, and. The book that you really want to follow i don't think there should be some fair you know it's just like reading a book no, to that, a small but kid but then that's the thing when you go to things like i know this is not about the quran i think did we read someone we were watching something to do mm -hmm. the quran mm -hmm. and someone said um it's always women 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 mm -hmm. someone said um a lot of women are going to go to hell mm -hmm. and when men are sent to heaven each is going to have is it 72 or something yeah 72 uh versions is it virgins? Yeah. So I don't understand. So because how? I mean, does it make is sense? Is that a fairy tale too? I think it's also a fairy tale. But anyway, other than that, is it that about women going are to heaven? We, we we yeah, because if you look at the Bible, women are being you know being stumbled upon. I don't know about the Quran, but again, when you look at uh, can I say this Islam country? Some women are being stumbled upon like they are being denied their rights to do things rights like what you can't drive <laughs> you know it's funny because uh, what is that's tradition yeah, yeah. yeah. that could be tradition yeah, no, for them culture. but to us it can be like rights yeah. anyway i mean the message was um what amadida was trying to say is just to was trying to pick the fairy tales that were in the Bible, but anyway, I think each and every religious book has a fairy tale. There are some fairy tales in there that you, you, I mean, you will sit down and imagine how does this even happen? How killing, killing uh, one thousand men with a, a jawbone? How you get it? I mean, sometimes you look at them, you're like, maybe it's just a, it's just a message, or you, there's something you're supposed to learn. Probably, I don't know. Maybe what do you think about the story of Goliath and David? Goliath and David. The story is uh, somewhat realistic, but again, what kind of stone was that that hit hit him until he he fainted or something like that so or died? It's very tall. Man, That's, there's some stories, man. You, you, you just, I think it. I don't know. Probably it's real. Maybe they exaggerated it too much. 
maybe David Kidd got that, but not the way they put it, like, you know, all these type of things. But you, you know, you can conquer whatever you put your mind to. Of course, of course, you can do whatever, yeah, of course. Probably it's, it's true. I don't want to deny the fact that it's not, uh, it's not true. I can't say it's a fairy tale, and again, I, I can't, you know, this thing, man, I wish, I wish you were there that particular day, so that we see those things. It could be very tall, it could not. Yeah, it could be, it could be not. So, I mean, either way, you just have to to, to look at it, get the positive message, and move on. The caught me off guard was this one on what raping women. That one, like he said, is very sad to think about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty sad. I mean, really, really sad. But uh, again, when you think about it, as much as you want to just read good things in the Bible, don't you think they should also show you the bad side of life? Yeah, okay, according to just life. Just there's advantages, they should get, they should be disadvantages yeah. as well. Um, Maybe that's why it's there, but otherwise... I was, I was listening to somebody... The are portrayed. I was listening to somebody and they were saying that um, the Creator uh, gave us uh, this force, you get it? A very big force, a very good, good force. That if you, you can use it for the bad and you can use it for the good. You get it? So there is a good and the bad. There is evil and, and good or whatever the situation. So it's just upon you to to to, uh, to pick a side. You get it? You can go on the evil side. Everything will work out. If you want to do whatever thing in the evil, everything will work for you. Again, when you want to go for the good, everything will work out for you. It just depend, depends on what you want to you wanna pick. So, I mean, there is, there is that factor of, of good and bad. Probably maybe the Bible, that's what he wants to portray. There's a good side of, of somebody and then there's a bad side of somebody too. Just like when Jesus went and, and saw like, um, was it the synagogue or the church being used as a, as a, what, as a marketplace and then he started throwing things. Did you, did, did you know about that? Yeah. So we can't start saying like Jesus is a bad person because he went through all those. If if you come in your house and you find uh, things are in inappropriately or maybe you see people in their house and they're acting appropriately, you throw them out. Actions are more important than uh, maybe praying or prayer or such kind of things. You get it? Yeah. So anyway guys, if you feel uh, anyway guys, if you feel that we react to this video, the better way is to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about that reaction and uh, what you feel about uh, this video here of Amit did that uh, talking about um, fairy tales in the Bible. Just yes, let us I know. I wanted to ask, the Bible has been edited many times, don't you think they could have maybe removed it? Yeah. But anyway, don't you think if the Bible just contained good things, it would it would be too good to be true. Yeah, to be too good to be true anyway. Yeah, I mean, cool. the way the Bible has been put, it's like again, I mean, there's so much so much confusion. There's so much. It's just not the Bible. I mean, the way this religious book has been put together, there's so much confusion. Imagine if. If the Bible, the Quran, or maybe any other religious book was just, was just that good book that there is no errors in there, I think again there are some people who are gonna come out and say, uh, uh this is not, this is not it. Anyway, guys, if you feel like you reacted to this video, the better way is to give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to go down our comment section, and tell us exactly what you feel about that reaction and what you uh, uh, feel about uh, Ahmed Dad on the, on extremely funny fairy tale tales. In the Bible, just let us know in the comment section below. And also, you want to ask our fellow Muslim brothers and sisters: Is there any fairy tale in the Quran that you might want to share with us? And what do you think about fairy tales? Do you think that fairy tales are supposed to be eliminated from the religious books, or they're supposed to be there to teach us or to to give us even more understanding? Just let us know in the comment section below, and we'll be happy to learn and you know. Uh, look into into it and probably will even reply and we want to thank to people who've been uh replying back to us with a good message you guys are really really important anyway guys um uh, thank you so much and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel then we keep on subscribing then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and last but not the least we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out